champions in this, the final of the women's single skulls. However, absent through illness, this season's Zurich World Cup champion Miroslava Knapkova from the Czech Republic. Over on the far side in lane one, Elisabetta Brugo representing Italy. In lane two, the double Olympic and double world champion, Ekaterina Karsten for Belarus. Maybe not at her best over the past couple of seasons. In lane three for China, Zhang Zhuyun, who's been training in Europe in the earlier part of the season. And here in lane four, Rumiana Nekova. A superb comeback in the Lucerne World Cup regatta, having uh, taken a season off to begin her family. The world champion, Katrin stomperowski rutschau for Germany in lane number five. And completing the lineup closest to you, the youngest of the finalists, and this is Yulia uh, Lavina for Russia. Good start there, and we've got a very, very interesting uh, race ahead of us. It's Nikova here who is going to be really uh, the one to watch. She's a high-rating sculler, and she's not a big sculler, but she has dominated the World Cup season. She just took the world champion, uh, Katarina Rucho, apart um, in Lucerne. She was fantastic, and uh, she's going to be the interesting one. And Italy, of course, not used to seeing Italian women on this, at this kind of level, and she's done very well to get to the final here. Elisabetta Brugo. Indeed she has. A uh, teammate last year, Erika Spinello, managed to finish sixth, so... Brugo will be looking to perhaps uh, at least notch one place higher. But here is the Olympic champion, Dan, Ekaterina Karsten, who this season is doubling up in the Belarus quad, so more work to do. Well, she doubled up last year as well and seemed, came third in both, and she seemed not really to be at the top of her form. I think she doesn't really like doubling up. She's living in Germany and sculling for Belarus, and I think that probably stretches her a little bit far. Um, Sculler from China, Zhang, Zhang, she really has been doing very well. She's been training in Sweden, and she's been moving very, very well indeed. But the person to watch really is Nekova and, of course, Karsten, the Olympic champion. Yeah, it's Karsten on the far side there who's just about got the advantage over Nekova. But Nekova, of course, in that memorable battle in the Sydney Olympics, just denied by a hundredth of a second by Ekaterina Karsten after a wait of some 20 minutes there. We thought it was going to be a dead heat, but they don't do such things, and Nekova was the loser. Look at that. We've, already, we've, only, we've not even got to 500 metres, and they've already, both of these scholars are a length up on the world champion. Indeed, through the first quarter, Rutschau going through in uh, third place, ahead of Zhang with uh, Lavina and the Italian at the back of the field. Well, she's got nothing to lose, and in a sense, Nekova's got no pressure on her, Dan. Well, no pressure at all, except that she's just sculling very, very beautifully. Pretty high rating there, 33 strokes a minute. She's a, a, not a pa big, powerful person, but she's quite... She moves her boat beautifully. Just sit, see how she sits low. She just, she's very accurate at the front end of the stroke. And Ruchal, really, she's got an awful lot to do here now. She's a, a good length and a half down on uh, both scullers in third place. Uh, usually a very confident sculler, but she hasn't been going quite so well this season. Yes, her victory last year was... Uh very easy and she's known all the season that this would be much much tougher and uh, Nekova now pulling it out as we see uh, for the first time the youngest the 23 year old uh, Russian Yulia Levina already with an Olympic bronze and a world silver medal in her collection you know, she's not doing too well she's trailing a little bit at the back here but it's interesting just on the far side there it almost as if it seems as if Karsten has rather given up on Nekova her rating's gone right down over there and she's sitting in second place but she's not really trying to match Nekova who is now flying she's moved right away to about a length and a half and look at this she just sits there good lie back sends the boat at the finish and no bounce at all on this rather choppy water she's moving very well indeed Meanwhile, uh, Zhang getting a little bit closer to Rutschau to uh, battle it out for the bronze medal, perhaps, here. So that would be a real turn-up. Zhang, of course, was in the famous Chinese uh, four, the quadruple skull that caused a, a seismic uh, shift in the world of rowing when they overturned the Germans in uh, 1993 in the World Championships. Yeah, that was the only time that Germany has ever lost the quad. Um, they've been dominant since 1984, and that was an extraordinary uh, reversal there when China did so well. But uh, here now, 
we do see that Ruchal, the world champion, is beginning to press Karsten up there on the far side there. She's beginning to press her at about halfway here. But out in front and still moving along at that nice, comfortable 33 strokes a minute is Nekova and moving beautifully. Look how far up she is now. She's got about four lengths and is no one's going to catch her now. I was just about to say, Dan, uh, that's uh, a lead which she surely cannot relinquish. And Karsten, at the moment, obviously, Dan, is going to concentrate more on Ruchal's challenge. But she's not really responding. She's sitting up there. She's about half a length ahead. Ruchal's really pushing on hard here. And Ruchal is just eating her up. It's the world champion closest to us in the blue boat who is just moving right through the Olympic champion who doesn't really seem to be resisting. She's out there, she hasn't raised her rating, she's just still moving along there at about 28 strokes a minute. Look at that, you can see her there just in the corner, and Ruchal's through. And whilst all of that's happening, it's worth mentioning that Elisabetta Brugo, the 30-year-old Italian from Turin, is actually doing rather better than Yulia Levina, holding on to fifth spot at the moment now as uh, Ruchow uh, just looks a little way across to Carsten, and she's getting the better of that argument. That's the bow of uh, Zhang, single skull, coming in between these two, and she's not that far off, Dan. No, she's got about 500 metres to go. She could still do it, but no-one is going to touch Nick over. Four lengths up. With uh, less than a quarter of the race to go, so Germany in silver medal position, Belarus in bronze, then China. There's Elisabetta Brugo on the far side with about a quarter of a length advantage over Yulia Levina, who's not having a very good day. But here's the 29-year-old from uh, Bulgaria. You might remember her before she was uh, married as a junior, Jadjarova, winning the Junior Worlds in 1991. But this has been a lifelong ambition to win this senior title. Absolutely has, especially after that Olympic final. But I think uh, Carson has finally woken up a little bit. She just lifted her rating there. You can see how poply the water is. It's bouncing around. It's nice to get out in front like that when you've got difficult water up ahead because uh, you can look back on the field and any mistake you make, you know that it's not having such an effect on you. But here now, Ruchow trying to hold on to second place. And finally, uh, that, I think it's pride there with Carsten. She's leapt into action and she's now pushing back. She's such a powerful sculler, Carsten. Uh, you, she can't really enjoy watching people coming past her. But now it's a battle. She's really trying to fight off uh, Zhang for the third place. And Zhang is coming so fast there onto Karsten. Yes, this is a great finish here. Ruchow just looks across at the moment, looking uh, solid but concerned because the other two are really flying at her now. And there's still enough time because Karsten has really raised the rate here. And Ruchow looking uh, just slightly uncertain of herself there as... Uh, Carsten continues to make progress here. Zhang's run seems to halt, but Carsten's is still running there. Nekova almost at the line and almost world champion. But Ruchow under real pressure now. The line coming up, but watch for Carsten. At the top of your picture, she's through Ruchow, who hasn't been able to respond to that last sprint from Ekaterina Carsten, who gets the silver with Zhang just a length away in fourth place. What a great, great win there for Nekova. What a